Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. This is uh, for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the end of June going into July. We are going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you're connecting with. Uh, and then we'll take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with what the possible outcome and advice are. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing another giveaway since I am getting close to hitting 20,000 subscribers. I will choose two winners for a one hour personal reading with you. The way that you enter this giveaway is by hitting the, hitting the uh, subscription button, the notification bell, uh, giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a comment in the comment section below with the hashtag 20k. Uh, once I reach 20,000, I will uh, go through my comments, select two winners, and um, and make the announcement on the uh, in the community tab. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure that the notifications are turned on so that you get notified when I announce the winners. Uh, for the winners, if you guys are comfortable with leaving your email addresses in the comment section below of the post, feel free to do so. If not, you can feel free to email me. I will leave my email address in the post when I announce the winners on the community tab uh, so that we could set up the personal readings. Uh, those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, guys, let's get started. Over energy is for Scorpio regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. What does Scorpio need to know? What can Scorpio expect regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here? Alright Scorpio, let's see what's going on here for you Scorpio for the end of June going into July. Okay, there you are Scorpio, the Knight of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. The full Aries Aquarius energy, the Sun Leo energy, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo Capricorn Taurus, the Three of Wands, Seven of Wands, the Queen of Swords, Libra Aquarius Gemini energy, okay. I don't know, I feel like you're trying to move towards your happiness here. You're trying to have a new beginning with someone, but someone's pushing you away. Because I feel like someone's not trusting you. I have a knight here and a queen. So, yeah, so this queen is not trusting this knight. Let's get some more messages just to see what's going on. Tell me about the fool. What's going on with this fool card here? Someone does not want to miss out on, oppor on an opportunity with someone. Problem is, someone's blocking this out. Tell me about the sun. The knight of wands. I think the reason why someone's not trusting this person is because this person's all over, all over the place. So, Scorpio, Either you could be these knights here, or you could be this queen. It could be three different knights coming towards this queen's way. So, uh, take it as it resonates, apply it to your own unique situation. Just put yourself where you see fit also. The roles could be flipped to reverse. This is a general reading. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands. 
tell me about the Three of Wands. Strength, Leo energy. Someone's feeling anxious. I feel like someone's feeling anxious of like waiting around or they don't want to wait anymore. Waiting on this uh, Queen of Cups to, no, the Queen of Swords to accept so, the, their cup of love. Tell me about this uh, Seven of Wands. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Wow. Very interesting be because we have the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. You know what? I feel like so I feel like this queen is just not trusting anyone at all. Could be an ex that's coming back towards your way to apologize for something that they did here. Someone played a lot of mind games. Um because I'm getting an energy, one energy with these knights here, someone just being incredibly flighty. And then we have another one that's blocking out this person because this per this queen is not trusting this knight. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, there's conflict here. I mean, someone walked away from this knight because of this conflict. Perhaps there were secrets. So let's, let me show you guys this and we'll move on to the next thing. Um, the Fool being clarified by the Four of Cups, the Sun being clarified by the Knight of Wands, uh, the Knight of Pentacles being clarified by the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands being clarified by the uh, Strength card, Seven of Wands being clarified by the uh, the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords being clarified by the Queen of Cups. All right, tell me about Scorpio's person. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know about their uh, person for the end of June going into July here? Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Justice, Libra Energy, High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces Energy. You have the Knight of Wands again, and the Ten of Cups. I feel like someone wants a new beginning. Someone's in love with someone. I mean, this person is really hard to trust. I mean, this Knight of Wands is a huge player. I mean, is this player being tamed? Because I'm feeling like this Knight of Wands can't seem to live without this queen. Yeah. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles here. Ace of Pentacles, wow. Could be dealing with a soulmate. Twin flames. Someone does. Someone doesn't want to miss out on an, on an opportunity here with someone F to have this ten of cups energy. Eight of cups. The nine of swords. What's going on with this justice card? Justice. 
Justice and the Hierophant. When I see Justice and the Hierophant together, someone here is definitely seeking marriage. I mean, they're trying. So. So I feel like the reason why this person might be all over the place is because they don't know how to manage their stress and anxiety well or their emotions. I mean, this person could have acted out and hurt this queen, uh, this queen, and that's why this queen is, the queen is not trusting this knight. All right, tell me about this uh, high priestess. We have 20 cups here. We have the 10 of cups here two times. So this is clarifying the high priestess. I mean, I feel like someone has this inner knowing that this is truly what they want. I'm feeling like there's this energy of a knight being tamed, a player being tamed here. Um, instead of following their ego, I feel like they're trusting their intuition. I did see a six of, yeah, I did, there was a six of wands here. Yeah. So maybe this person has been in their ego. Maybe this person was always confident that, you know, this queen would stick around. Uh, but I just feel like this queen is, I feel like this queen is sort of in this energy here. But it, there's just not a lot of um, talking, I feel or like not a, a lot of trusting. Maybe this queen, is, uh, this queen, you know, blocked communication from this knight. Tell me about this knight of wands. Nine of pentacles. Tell me about the 10 of cups. I'm feeling like this player has been, look at that, we have justice again. This person wants marriage here, um, Scorpio. So like I said, Scorpio, you could be this queen here. I mean, we have these three queens. I feel like that embodies one energy. And then these three knights, that embodies one energy. So either you're this queen or this knight. So just place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates. So the roles could be flipped or reverse. I mean, this knight, this... I, I feel like a player has been tamed. This player is wanting commitment here. So, 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 so badly. I feel like they would do anything to get to get to it. With this five of, wand, five of swords and this nine of wands, wanting a second chance here. It seems like this person messed up by, you know, maybe was messing around by being a player being flighty, being all over the place, being non-committal, but now they want to commit. Yeah, now they want marriage. Um, Ace of Pentacles being clarified by the uh, lovers. The Nine of Swords being clarified by the Eight of Cups. This, um, this looks really good, Scorpio. Um, yeah, I mean, whatever you do next with this person, if this is truly going on with you, I mean, that's up to you. Uh, only, yeah, only you could make your decision what's best for you, what's comfortable with you. Libra energy, no. The Justice card being clarified by the Hierophant. High Priestess being clarified by the Ten of Cups. The Knight of Wands being clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups being clarified by the Justice card. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on here. Outcome and advice. Outcome and advice for Scorpio regarding their love situation. What does Scorpio need to know? What can Scorpio expect for the end of June going into July regarding their love situation here? What does Scorpio need to know moving forward? Outcome and advice. We have the Page of Cups. I mean, someone's coming in with a sweet, kind gesture here. I mean, it seems like someone's trying to apologize. Someone's wanting a second chance. All right, let's get one more shuffle in and we'll skip the deck here. Someone wants their ex back. Someone wants to commit to their ex. Uh, six of cups on the bottom of the deck. 
Seven of Cups here. Strength card, Leo energy. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. We have the World, Capricorn energy, or any of the fixed signs, and the Fool. So whatever cycle that you guys have gone through in the past, I do feel like that cycle is closing out and a new cycle is beginning. I do feel like there's this energy of maybe entertaining taking back this night. Yeah, this this night wants to reunite, have a good time, put the the, the conflicts behind here. Um, let's get some more messages here for you. With this Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups here, I feel like this person wants to offer everything that you ever dreamed of, uh, offered everything that you guys have ever talked about in terms of relationships, you know, moving forward in the commitment. Um, I feel like someone here is going to basically tell this queen what they want moving forward. This person could have been keeping this in for a very, very long time, and it's just eager to tell this queen. This knight is eager to tell this queen. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Five of Swords. Like I said, I feel like this person is willing to do anything to fight for this. I feel like this person could have been, could also be apologizing for their poor behavior here, for confusing someone, playing mind games, uh, making someone jealous. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. The Empress. All right, so this is this is that queen's energy too. I'm feeling like there's this energy where maybe this page of cups or this knight had a ton of options. Now they just want one person, and I feel like this. I feel like, I feel like this. I feel like, um, I feel like this knight is completely in love with this feminine energy. This queen slash empress. Tell me about the strength card. Judgment, Sagittarius, energy. So we have that judgment card on the bottom of the deck. It's under several cards. Tell me about the moon. Ten of swords. Tell me about the world card. We have the seven of swords. Tell me about the fool. All right, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay. Okay, we have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You know, this knight wants a second chance so badly, but I feel like this Empress slash Queen has been hurt by been betrayed by so many secrets that this queen is actually getting away from this person and blocking out a new beginning with this knight. Seems like a player has been tamed and it seems like there's this energy of it being too late because with the seven of swords here, I feel like this queen is trying to get away from this knight. And, and, and yeah, basically close out that cycle and just keep that cycle closed because it seems like, yeah, it seems like this knight wants a new beginning and this queen is blocking it out. Um, Page of Cups being clarified by the Five of Swords, the Seven of Cups being clarified by the Empress. We have the Strength card being clarified by the Judgment card. The moon being clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have the world being clarified by the Seven of Swords. The fool being clarified by the Seven of Wands. 
All right, guys. Uh, so Scorpio, this is your general love reading for the end of June going into July. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.